Morning guys and welcome back to a beautiful morning in Hawke's Bay, New Zealand. Now I've always been a big fan of the Fujifilm X100 series. I bought the original, the X100, I bought it second hand in probably 2012 I believe. Look at the thing, it's absolutely gorgeous, it's a thing of absolute beauty. And unfortunately, after a while of using it, and I didn't use it that often because obviously working in the newspaper I'm working with Canon DSLRs and I've got my Nikons and I've got all sorts of cameras. So this one, I, I didn't use it that often and when I did use it I found that it was although I, I loved the idea of it it really wasn't suiting my style of photography really the dials on the top particularly the exposure compensation dial that just turns so easily and I was getting a lot of blowouts a hell of a lot of blowouts and I thought shit this is not good so I did a little bit of research and I realized or I found out that the Fujifilm X100 the original some early models suffered from something called the SAB, Sticky Aperture Blade Syndrome, whereby the aperture blade stayed open too long and you could send it back to get it repaired at Fujifilm. Unfortunately, I tried that, but because I bought it second hand, I didn't have the original purchase receipt, I couldn't send it back. So after a while, I just kind of, I, I really did give up on the camera and I just put it into storage, forgot about it, and I bought the X100T when it came out. What a difference, loved it to bits. Loved it to death, actually. I killed it in a flash flood, unfortunately. Insurance kicked in and I replaced it with a Fujifilm X100F. I used it for years. I used it on landscape, street, protest. I used it on everything. I absolutely love that camera. Exactly a year ago, I boxed it up and shipped it out to my old dad back in England. He was fancying a smaller, more manageable camera. He's loving it. I'm missing it. My plan was to buy the X100V as it had just come out and uh, I was pretty keen to upgrade. And then I realized more chance of finding an honest politician than you have of finding an X100V. <laughs> That's why I bit the bullet and end up with a Leica Q2. Uh, a decision that I don't regret. I definitely don't regret. Love that camera. But anyway, I decided just, just because I'm digging through my camera gear and I came across the original Fujifilm X100. So I thought, right, let's dig it out, have a play with it. I've had a good look at it, and I really don't think it's the, uh, it's suffering from the sticky aperture blade syndrome. I think it's user error, and I think it's me that was uh, moving the compensation dial to plus two, and just absolutely blowing out every photograph I took. So uh, total user error, I think. So I've charged up a couple of batteries, went out this morning at first light, got a few photographs of the coastal erosion down at the local beach, and they look okay actually. So what I'm going to do today, I'm going to just have a steady walk into town, just try a few photographs and uh, just make a little bit of video of photographs that I get from this little camera. 
Uh, just a little bit of detail on this camera. He's got a 23 millimeter Fujinon aesthetical lens. That's on an APS-C sensor, uh, which will give us a 35 millimeter equivalent on full frame. 12.3 megapixels, it does the job. It was released originally in March 2011. It's now October 2023. So she's, she's knocking on a little bit, but is it still capable? Can it get the results? <laughs> I'm pretty sure it can. I'm pretty sure it can. So the plan is, she's gonna take the camera on a bit of a walk Pop off a few shots as I see them. See if we can make some acceptable photographs with an old camera, an old digital camera. So I plan to do a variety of shots. We'll get some landscapes, we'll get some wide stuff, we'll get some closer stuff, and then we'll get a bit of street photography in town later on. And to give it a full test, I'm gonna stick it on a tripod this evening. We'll get a sunset, we'll get a blow hour, and then we'll get a couple of shots into the dark just to test this camera out on a full range of subjects. Whew. Some nice photos to make with a bit of luck. And a little Fujifilm X100. The OG, the JPEGs from the X100 series are absolutely fantastic. When I had the T and the F, I never used the camera in RAW. Always used it on JPEGs, never had an issue. But today, just because it's old tech, I'm gonna show everything in RAW, just to give myself the best chance at getting some decent results out of this camera. Looking on the back of the screen, which I'm trying not to do because the batteries on these cameras are pretty shite. So I'm trying to keep the chimping to an absolute minimum. But what I've seen so far, very encouraging, very encouraging. And just like that, the chances of a good sunset have gone. But the saving grace, a couple of weeks ago, when I first dug out the X100, I took it down to the local beach and got a shot of a rocket launch from the Mahia Peninsula way across the bay. And uh, I think it gives you a good idea of what this camera is capable of in all conditions. Now, in all honesty, this camera, although it's a very capable camera for landscapes, portraits, anything static, I think it's an absolutely superb camera. For street photography, where things are moving fast and you've got a couple of seconds to get the shot, this camera does let me down a little bit. Just not quite as responsive as cameras that I'm using currently. And uh, for that fact, I will probably not use this for street photography again. Obviously, I'm gonna keep this camera. I very rarely get rid of cameras. I don't see a need to start now. Lovely camera. If you're in the market for an X100V, but can't find it, try and pick up this. Ideally, pick up the T. <laughs> Better still, pick up the F. This one's good, but it's not a patch on the T, and it's certainly not a patch on the X100F. That would be my recommendation for anybody wanting to get into this system, but obviously can't get the coveted X100V. All right, guys, listen, hope you've enjoyed this little episode, and until next time, catch you later.